Uh, today we're just replacing uh, the pulley. Uh, my car has actually been making a loud whining noise. It sounded kind of cool if you see it on my other videos. Um, it sounded like I had a uh, supercharger on this, but it actually wasn't. And until I replace this, this has been the culprit. Um, if you can kind of look inside here a little bit, uh, it has like a lot of cracks. Um, and when you, you can have it, I can't really hear it, but it's actually kind of wiggly and wobbly inside there. It's kind of dry and it has a whole bunch of uh, gunk and stuff inside of there. So today we're just gonna go ahead and quickly replace that and show you uh, how to do that. So check it out. All right, so I just actually ended up going to Napa Auto Parts and getting this stuff. Mercedes-Benz does have it, but I just didn't feel like dealing with waiting a couple of weeks to get it. So here is the part. If you wanted to get it from Napa, uh, if you have like a local store and they have it and you just want to get this over with now, here's the part number and stuff. All right, go ahead and open this up and you'll see here is your uh, pulley that we're going to be replacing. And this one is made in Poland. Uh, the Chinese ones really aren't so good. You're just replacing them on a regular basis versus, you know, waiting a little bit, you know, a couple years to do it. Um, I don't think these have a long uh, lifespan of years and years and years. So I think you need to change these every couple of years, every five years or so, I think you need to, uh, you know, check these, see how they're doing, because I think they are a high wear item and they need to be replaced. So that's your pulley. And then up next, we're going to go ahead and take that off. You're going to need to get, I don't have one uh, until now, a, if you can see that, a T50 to take the bolt out. So a T50 uh, screw right here, that's what you need to take the bolt out, which you'll see in a second. All right, and then if you have a 17 millimeter at all, um, this is actually a Mercedes-Benz tool for my E320 to take off the uh, lug nuts, but this one actually is a long one to get down into the uh, tensioner and pull that up. So I'll be using that uh, to get that up, to loosen up the belt. All right, to get started with the pulley, we're just gonna take off uh, the safety, the uh, safety cap. That's right here. All right, I just want to show you down here. That's where you're uh, going to pull up on your pulley to let the tension off of your uh, belt right here. So you have to pull with one arm. All right, I'm hoping you guys will be able to see this as I do it. Um, so you're just going to be pulling up the tension off, and then you can take the belt off the pulley. Then release it back up like that, plain and simple. All right, so if you can see the pulley, you know, is, is right here. And what you need to listen for, for all your pulleys to test it, it should be nice, smooth uh, operation. So let's see what this one's like. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so up next, you're just gonna take your T50, put it inside here. You're gonna turn it towards the passenger side of the car or counterclockwise. Whichever, you know, works for you to say. Um, I'm not sure how good you can see that. All right. With your T50 and... Let's see, try this again. Get a little bit better grip on it. And you can just kind of... I don't let everything cool down in here, so it's kind of hot. So that's my fault. About to get dark pretty soon, so I was like, I better hurry up and do this like right now. <laughs> you know how we need a rush. But anyway, so you can go ahead and pull the rest of this out. Shoot, I don't have a, a rag or anything. All right, let me see. This is really slippery. Now this bolt is actually kind of long, so when you see you pull it out, it's it's long. All right, and that's pretty much your bolt. And here is the old pulley. And actually, if you can see, it's actually kind of greasy in there. See with this one right here, with the new one. 
and then the old one is breezier inside of there which is oh and it's really cracked too <laughs> wait a minute let's see like focus see how cracked that is so i would have never known that uh at all unless expecting that so usually crackness or cracks in it will let you know also that it's going bad and grease and all that kind of stuff so. all right the old one i don't know what's the front or the back but the difference in this one versus the mercedes-benz one um I guess this is the front. This one's actually made in Canada, so that's even better. Hey, supporting Canadian builders, so that's what's up. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and put this on. All right, so let's So it's gonna <laughs> take that out real quick. I'm not gonna try to stay up where it's supposed to be while you're turning it. So, so hold it in place while you're turning for the first couple of turns. right there we kind of see how that is all right so now the new part is on and let's do the spin test yeah it doesn't move as like 100 miles per hour fast you know it's like has a free spinning but it's a little bit of resistance to it so that's what's up so just do the reverse process of putting the serpentine belt back on remember the uh grooves go into the idler arm back down over the uh alternator and around um the water pump uh itself on the smooth side so after you've got that all done everything's nice and tight you can go ahead and put the uh engine covers back on and i'll uh, start the car up and you can see that it runs quietly no rattling no squealing or anything like that a 15 minute job done uh easily and you save some money